Hello and welcome to Sigma Excel Video Tutorials. In this video, we'll be demonstrating the Box Tidwell test found in Sigma Excel's Advanced Multiple Regression Tool. Multiple linear regression assumes that relationships between the predictors and the response variable are linear. The Box Tidwell BT procedure aims to find an optimal power transformation of the predictor variables to satisfy the linearity assumption. This transformation can be crucial for improving the model fit and prediction accuracy. Note that in Sigma Excel, at least one continuous predictor with all positive data values must be included in the model. Do not use standardization or coding as this will introduce zero or negative values in the predictors. Continuous predictors with values less than or equal to zero, categorical factors, interactions and higher order terms are included in the model, but excluded from the box Tidwell test and transformation. The constant must be included in the model. Box Tidwell cannot be performed with error degrees of freedom equals zero. Box Tidwell power transformations are calculated only for significant continuous predictors detected by the BT test. This improves the overall robustness of the procedure. If Box Cox is used, Box Tidwell power transformations are calculated using the Box Cox transformed response. Box Cox lambda may not be optimal after refit. Optimal and rounded power values are reported. Rounded is recommended for ease of interpretation. Power values of minus five or plus five are limits and considered unstable, so rounded is set to one. Sheet box Tidwell contains the original data with new columns for the transformed continuous predictors using rounded power. The model should be refit with these transformed predictors. For this example, we'll be using a sample data set called Montgomery Table 5.5 Windmill Data. This data is from Table 5.5 Montgomery, Introduction to Linear Regression and Analysis. A research engineer is investigating the use of a windmill to generate electricity. He has collected data on the DC output from his windmill and the corresponding wind velocity in miles per hour. First, we'll create a scatter plot of the data with a trend line. Click Sigma Excel, Graphical Tools, Scatter Plots. Check Use Entire Data Table and click Next. Select DC Output and click Numeric Response Y. Select Wind Velocity and click Numeric Predictor X1. Ensure Trend Line is checked. Click OK. The resulting scatter plot is shown with the equation and trend line. The equation is based on linear regression using the method of least squares. R squared times 100 is the percent variation of Y explained by X. Here, 87.45%. Curvature is apparent, so we will try to improve the fit by modifying the trend line in Excel to a quadratic fit. Click on the trend line. Right click and select Format Trend Line. The format trend line options are given. Select polynomial with order 2. R square has improved from 87.45% to 96.76%. However, Montgomery notes that the quadratic model starts to bend down with higher wind velocity, which is contrary to theory for a windmill operation. A cubic polynomial model could be used to improve the quadratic, giving R square equals 97.69%. Or a nonlinear curve fitting using Excel Solver. But we will now consider a model using the box Tidwell power transformation. Click on the Sheet 1 tab. Click Sigma Excel, Statistical Tools, Advanced Multiple Regression, Fit Multiple Regression Model. Select DC Output. Click Numeric Response Y. Select Wind Velocity and click Continuous Predictors X. Ensure residual plots is checked. Note that standardized predictors is left unchecked and should not be used with the Box Tidwell option. Click Advanced Options. Check Box Tidwell Test and Power Transformation recommendation for continuous predictors. Click OK. Click Next. Select Wind Velocity. Click Model Terms. Click OK. The model summary table shows the R-square equal to 87.45% at 
as we saw in the scatter plot trend line equation. The R square predicted, leave one out cross validation, is 84.58%. Clicking on the residuals DC output, the residuals versus predicted values plot shows strong curvature, indicating that the simple linear regression model is inadequate. As mentioned, we could refit this as a quadratic or cubic model, but we will use the box Tidwell transformation here. Click the Model Sheet tab and scroll down to view the Box Tidwell Test and Power Transformation recommendation for Continuous Predictors report. Given the low p-value, we reject the null hypothesis. Power is equal to 1. The Box Tidwell optimal power equals minus 0 0.833 and rounded power equals minus 1. That is, a reciprocal transformation of 1 divided by x is recommended. This agrees with the Box Tidwell power transformation given in Montgomery. Be aware the report notes Box Tidwell power transformations are calculated for significant continuous predictors. Sheet Box Tidwell contains the original data with new columns for the transformed continuous predictors using rounded power. The model should be refit with these transformed predictors. Click on the Box Tidwell DC output sheet for this model. The table with BT power transformation of wind velocity to the power of negative 1 is given. Now, we will create a scatter plot with trend line for the transformed wind velocity data. Click Sigma Excel, Graphical Tools, Scatter Plots. Check Use Entire Data Table and click Next. Select DC Output, click Numeric Response Y. Select Wind Velocity to the power of negative 1. Click Numeric Predictor X1. Ensure trend line is checked. Click OK. The resulting scatter plot is shown with the equation and trend line. The Box Tidwell power transformation has successfully linearized the relationship between DC output and wind velocity. The straight line fit looks good, and R square times 100 is now 98% versus the original untransformed 87.5% or the quadratic with 96.8%. While the model fit is dramatically improved, the slope is now negative due to the reciprocal relationship, making the interpretation less intuitive. An inverse transformation is required to revert to the original units. Click the sheet Box Tidwell DC output for this model. Click Sigma Excel, Statistical Tools, Advanced Multiple Regression, Fit Multiple Regression Model. Select DC Output. Click Numeric Response Y. Select Wind Velocity to the power of negative 1. Click Continuous Predictors X. Ensure Residual Plots is checked. Click Next. Click Select All. Click OK. The model summary table shows the R square equal to 98% as we saw in the scatter plot trend line equation. R square predicted, leave one out cross validation, is 97.67% compared to the original untransformed 85.58%. Clicking the residuals DC output, the residuals versus predicted values plot shows no obvious pattern, indicating that the BT transformed model has successfully removed the nonlinearity in the model. Now we will consider optimization with the transformed model. Click the Model Sheet tab. Scroll to the predicted response calculator. Enter target equals 2. Click Optimize. Click Yes. The wind velocity to the power of negative 1 setting of 0.1412 gives a DC output of 2. In order to determine the original wind velocity, an inverse transformation must be applied. To retrieve the original values of x from x transformed, we use the following inverse transformation formulas. Click the mouse cursor in an empty cell and use the formula K14 to the power of 1 divided by negative 1. This gives the wind velocity of 7.084. In this case, we could have also simply used the formula equals 1 divided by k14 since it is a reciprocal transform. 
For BT formula details, please see the Sigma Excel workbook. Now we will demonstrate the box Tidwell test for two X's. Open mtcars.xlsx. This data was extracted from the 1974 Motor Trend US magazine and comprises fuel consumption and 10 aspects of automobile design and performance for 32 automobiles, 1973 to 74 models. The response of interest is MPG, miles per US gallon. The continuous predictors to be considered here are WT, weight in thousands of pounds, and HP, gross horsepower. First, we'll create a scatter plot of the data. Click Sigma Excel, Graphical Tools, Scatter Plot Matrix. Click Next. Select MPG, Weight, HP, and click Numeric Data Variables Y. Ensure Display Trend Line is checked. Click OK. The MPG versus Weight, MPG versus HP, and Weight versus HP are shown. Some curvature is apparent in MPG versus Weight and MPG versus HP. The WT versus HP plot also shows that the predictors are correlated, so we anticipate that the variance inflation factor will be greater than 1. Click on the MT Cars tab. Click Sigma Excel, Statistical Tools, Advanced Multiple Regression, Fit Multiple Regression Model. Click Next. Select MPG and click Numeric Response Y. Select WT, HP and click Continuous Predictors X. Ensure residual plots are checked. Click Advanced Options. Check Box Tidwell Test and Power Transformation Recommendation for Continuous Predictors. Click OK. Click Next. Click Select All. Click OK. The model summary table shows the R square equals 82.68% and R square predicted leave one out cross-validation, is 78.11%. The VIF scores are 1.77, so moderate, but still acceptable at less than 5. Scroll down to view the Box Tidwell Test and Power Transformation recommendation for Continuous Predictors report. Given the low p-values for weight and HP, we reject the null hypothesis, power equal to 1 for each predictor. The BT rounded power is negative 0 0.05 for WT and HP. Click on the sheet named MREG1 Box Tidwell MPG. A table with Box Tidwell power transformation of weight to the power of negative 0.5 and horsepower to the power of negative 0.5 is provided. Now we'll create a scatter plot matrix of the transformed data. Click Graphical Tools, Scatter Plot Matrix. Check Use Entire Data Table and click Next. Select MPG to HP to the power of negative 0.5. Click Numeric Data Variables Y. Ensure Display Trend Line is checked. Click OK. The MPG versus Weight to the power of negative 0.5 and MPG versus HP to the power of negative 0.5 are displayed. The Box Tidwell Power Transformation has successfully linearized the relationship between MPG versus WT and MPG versus HP. R square times 100 is now 81.1% versus the original untransformed 75.3% for weight and 74.3% versus 60.2% for HP. While the model fits are dramatically improved, the slope is now positive due to the reciprocal square root relationship making the interpretation less intuitive. An inverse transformation is required to revert to the original units. Click the sheet MREG1 Box Tidwell MPG. Click Statistical Tools, Advanced Multiple Regression, Fit Multiple Regression Model. Select MPG and click Numeric Response Y. Select weight to the power of negative 0.5, 
and HP to the power of negative 0.5, and click Continuous Predictors X. Ensure residual plots are checked. Click Next. Click Select All. Click OK. The model summary table shows the R-square equal to 89.63% versus the original untransformed 82.68%. R-square predicted is 86.91% compared to the original untransformed 78.11%. The model fit has dramatically improved. Clicking on the residuals MPG sheet, the residuals versus predicted values plot, residuals versus weight to the power of negative 0.5, and HP to the power of negative 0.5 show no obvious patterns, indicating that the BT transform model has successfully removed the nonlinearity in the model. Now we will consider optimization with the transform model. Click the model sheet tab. Scroll to the predicted response calculator. Select goal as maximize. Click optimize. Click yes. In order to determine the original WT and HP, inverse transforms must be applied. To retrieve the original value of X from X transformed, we use the inverse transformation formula shown earlier in this video for each predictor. Click the mouse cursor in an empty cell and use the following formulas. These formulas give a weight of 1.513 thousand pounds and 52 horsepower. The predicted response is 34.72 miles per gallon. This concludes the Sigmax cell tutorial video for advanced multiple regression, box tidwell test. For more videos, visit www.sigmaxcell.com or join us on YouTube. Thank you for watching.